that. Look at that. Look, 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 look at What is up, Loud and Proud fam? I'm back to you guys with another video on the truck. Sadly, this video is not one that I was looking forward to making. However, I need to address it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Basically what I have is a small leak coming from either the crank seal or the timing cover, which is what I think it is. I think it's the timing cover. There's a small gap around there, I think, and I didn't quite get all the old residue and it's like there's some little bit of leftover stuff from the old gasket seal that was put on there, I guess, or RTV seal or whatever it was. And basically I don't think I got quite enough of that off. So there's a very, very small gap somewhere around the bottom half of that timing cover. So, but me and my buddy Josh we're gonna do He's gonna try to help me out today. We're gonna go to Menards, gonna pick up some sealant, RTV sealant, some red Loctite if they have it. And depending on what we need, I think that's all we need. And then we're going to take apart the front of that again. Shouldn't be too hard now that I know how to do it and the order to do it in to get it done the fastest. That's what we're gonna do. And then sand it all down, make sure everything's totally flush and smooth, put the sealant on, place it back on, get everything bolted back up and we should be good. You ready? He is, I don't think, I don't think you haven't taken the front part of the mode like uh on diesel you have your time and cover fan all stuff. Yeah. He hasn't done it yet. I've only done it once, so shouldn't be too hard. But I've said that before, so fingers crossed. Just pulled up to Menards. Gonna see if we can find what we need. Let's start on this jet. You can find the bulb you need, bro. Close key. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna get. Red RTV. I thought everybody said black RTV, but this is gasket maker, high temp and it's for that application. There's no really black RTV that says it's for that, so I'm just gonna go with this stuff. Well, I did too, but I don't know where, because I kind of think maybe it would be like somewhere with bolts and hardware because it's kind of like for locking in bolts, you know? Fasteners from, from loosening. Ideal for securing fences. Heat and special tools needed for disassembly. Or this one. That removable one. hand tools. That's removable by hand. Keeps threaded. Hmm. I think with this and torquing it down to spec, we should be good. Because if I have to take it out again, I mean, I don't know. Mm, special tools, what is that? Like a, a ratchet? Bro, it's a crazy ratchet sometimes, bro. Or a hair. A hair or, 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 oh, you know what, dude? Use it. Let's go with this one. Because this is going to be for my KDP people. Yeah. This will hold that in, and I don't ever want to take that out. Come out. <laughs> Give away. Why is my dad? My we walked dad. out of Menards. This is dad's truck. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's funny. He lives here, basically. Yep. Okay, everybody. We got the gasket maker. We got the thread sealant. He's freaking dorking around with my freaking clip thingy, my uh. GoPro mount, dropping around. What the? I might go pick up and get a little bit of diesel. And we're going to get back to the garage, start to work on this. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Take a gander. This one right here says we should take off the plastic. Good idea, bad idea. Drop me a comment below. What we're about to do, what we're about, you like that? What we're about to do. What we're about to do. Okay, what, what we're about to do is pop the hood on the truck, make sure everything's cooled down at least a little bit, get to disassembling the fan, the fan shroud, the coolant hoses, Disconnecting the positive battery terminal on each side, some other good stuff, then we will address the leakage. Hopefully it goes pretty smooth.
talking about. You know, kids like stabbing people with scissors. <laughs> What's the mom say? He has allergies. That's what he has. There's a lot of pollen in the air that makes him want to kill people. That's not his fault. That's not his fault. He must have had some gluten yesterday or something. That just sets him off the gluten. That makes him want to puncture the skin of other people with kitchen utensils. So... We got this all disassembled, took apart, and then what we did was we got this timing cover off. And basically what the problem was, uh, you know, right here, here's your crank seal. If you look here, this and this was the new one that I put on. If you look at it right here, this lip, the back half of it is really messed up. I mean, it was like rolled in and it's supposed to be rolled out. So that's where the leak was coming from. So we're going to put a new one on there and then get it all back together get the new seal on the round the gasket and everything else and then we're going to put it all back together and hopefully that should take care of the issue like i said before it really was not dripping much oil like i probably could have left it like that for a really long time and not had any issues other than just a small oil drip which are 7.3 and first gen leak gobs of oil and that's just because they're just old trucks and you know, just a lot of trucks just do that. I don't know where the oil comes from, but it just does. My truck never did that before, so I thought I would take this off, do a little investigating, make sure everything was taken care of right. And this right here was uh, rolled back in. This back half of the crank seal was folded, and the other side was not. And so basically what happened was the part that was folded in was causing that very light leak down there on the crank shaft, I believe is what it was. It's right down here at the bottom basically so we're gonna get this all my buddy gesture just took all the oil residue off here he's gonna kind of work on sanding this down a little bit um, we're gonna make sure we get everything cleaned up around uh, the you know the timing cover right there where it mounts up and just make sure everything's sanded down there's no residue then we're gonna get to applying our new gasket maker and put it all back together and hopefully it is good but I'm not gonna probably start the truck until tomorrow because you're supposed to give it at least 10 hours to sit just to make sure everything sits hardens up and everything's good to go and you don't create more leaks by heating it up too quick and everything else so we're gonna get right to it get it done one thing i was going to do really quick guys that i almost forgot to bring up in the video here was the fact that i am taking back out that 10 millimeter bolt holding in my kdp and putting the correct um, basically bolt locker in there so that this bolt does not back out and reason for that is when I put the stuff on there last time I thought it was the correct thread locker type of stuff and turns out it was just a sealant for basically not hot temperatures first off uh, but more for like water and stuff and you know for the most part it's just not it's not gonna do and so we got a new new product I picked up today it was five bucks and it'll be plenty, plenty, plenty just to hold those bolts. And so we're going to take a little dab of that, put it on here, put the tab back on, thread it back in, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to get that taken care of and then get right on to uh, properly putting a gasket on there, a leak-proof gasket on there, and remounting the crank seal on there, getting it all mounted back up to the front of the motor. Yo, we got the boy Jesuit here. We're about to put this thing back on. I'm not gonna use this gasket over. It's an old gasket. When I took it off, it did not have one of these. So don't be like, oh, you're not putting the gasket back. It did not have a gasket when I took it off. All it had was this gasket maker stuff that's like rubber. And this is extremely heat tolerant and all that good stuff. So it's gasket maker, you know, obviously automotive, high temperature. I think we're gonna be good. I put a load of that stuff on all the way around so we should be good that's all that was on there before so i think we're gonna be fine you think it's gonna be fine 
I think that's what everybody else did, so I think we should be good. I hope so. If it doesn't, come and stare down part four. No, I'm totally kidding, but let's <laughs> let's do this. Gonna have Joshua here hold the camera. And we're gonna get to installing this. Again, if there's a little drip that I need to add a quart of oil once a year, I'll just do that. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna clean all this crap up, make the battery stuff, get the trash out that was holding our stuff, and wrap it up and call overnight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry that uh, this was kind of like not so much fun entertainment mostly, but I tried to make the best of it. Thank you, Jesse, for helping out. It really did help having an extra yes, sir. hands here. And we are going to catch you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe, join the fam. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright. Live a normal life, do a nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.